Hello, I'm Saukki. In this video, I'm going to tell you some Velomobile buying tips. So, these are some things to consider when you are choosing which Velomobile model to buy. So, this is like how to choose your Velomobile. I can't tell you which is the right Velomobile model for you. I'm just pointing out some things you should think about before buying. By the way, I'm not going to list all the Velomobile models in this video, but I'll show you some examples of different models. Mainly those I have tested myself. I have made a model about different models earlier. I put the link in the description. I also put list of different models in the video description. Go check that out after this video. Okay, so first thing to consider is the rider itself, meaning you. And how tall are you? If you are taller than average, then you are not going to fit in the smallest Velomobile models like, like the Quest XS for example. On the other hand, some models have enough room for riders up to 2 meters tall, like DF XL. Then you should also consider how to get into Velomobile. Is this kayak style manhole big enough? Many Velomobiles have this kind of manhole, like Quest, DF or Quattro Velo. Or do you want some kind of hatch with bigger opening, like Mulsanne or Sunrider? Or maybe this kind of design? This is the Argus Velomobile, made in Finland by the way. Okay, then the next thing, and this is maybe one of the most important things to consider. For what kind of use the Velomobile will be? Are you going to race with it? Then a fast Velomobile like DF or Milan would be a good option. Or are you going to use it for commuting or touring? Then maybe some more comfortable model like Quest or Quattro Velo. Then you also should consider where are you going to ride with it? If you are going to commute in big city, then maybe a model with open wheel wells and smaller turning radius like Strada. In city you might have to do sharp turns and the Quest has quite large turning circle, so it, it may not be the best option in that case. And then how much hills you have there? In hilly area you have to consider what kind of gearing you need. You need to have small enough gears to get on top of the hills. Or maybe electric assist for a commuting Velomobile would be a good idea. Then what kind of road conditions you have? Maybe you need good suspension. For example, the WAV doesn't have rear suspension as standard, but they have the option to mount rear suspension. If you want more comfort, then you might want to buy a Velomobile where you can fit wide tires, because wide tires are more comfortable. Then you should also consider how much luggage space you need. If you are going to do lots of touring, you maybe need a lot of luggage space for your camping gear. Many Velomobiles have good luggage space. For example, in my quest, there should be enough room for camping gear. But the Quattro Velo has huge luggage space. You can fit there almost anything you need. Okay then, maintenance. How easy is the Velomobile to maintain? For example, my quest, it's a bit inconvenient to maintain, because almost every part is deep inside the Velomobile. And some parts are quite difficult to get to. But some models may have some convenient service hatches, or if you have the WAV, then you can remove the front and rear part, and you get pretty good access to all important parts. Then wheel sizes. Some Velomobiles have different size front wheels and rear wheels, like my Quest. Some other models have wheels in same size. That's just one thing to consider, how many spare tires you need. If you have different sized wheels, then you need to have different size spare tires as well. But for example, Mango has all wheels in same size, so it may be convenient to have only one size spare tires. Okay, then one pretty important thing to consider is customer service. I can only speak about Velomobile.nl, because they are the only ones I have done business with. Luckily they have pretty good customer service. I have always got help and they always have the spare parts for me. I know that many other companies have also very good customer service, but I can't say anything about them because I don't have any experience about dealing with them. So you just have to contact them and find out yourself. Then there's one more thing. Reliability. Of course you want good and reliable Velomobile, so you can for example ride your commutes without any worries. And that's I think one of the main reasons why I bought a Quest back then instead of the DF. At the time, few years ago, the DF was pretty new model and it has all kind of small problems like new models often have. So I decided to go with the Quest because it has been in production since year 2000, so I was pretty sure it doesn't have any new model problems anymore. But of course, now the situation is completely different. If I would be buying my first Velomobile now, it probably would be DF. So that's just one more thing to consider. Do you want the newest and sexiest model, even though it may have some minor problems? Or do you want to leave the minesweeping to others and go for the safe option? Okay, then there's also some other things you may want to consider, like what kind of optional accessories you want, maybe racing hood or extra lights or something. And then also how long is the waiting time for the Velomobile and how much is the shipping and things like that. But those are just small details you can think about after you have choose what kind of Velomobile you need. But okay, I think that's all. I hope this was helpful. 
there is list of different Velomobile models in the video description, so, so please go and study those links and find the right Velomobile for you. Thanks for watching and please remember to subscribe to my channel and also click that bell icon so you can get notification every time I post a new video. Visit also my web shop and buy something like this kind of t-shirts or this kind of bags or something. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.